to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Well, that was President Bill Clinton 16 years ago addressing the American public about his affair with then intern Monica Lewinsky. Of course, what he said was not true. Just yesterday, that issue came up again when Senator Rand Paul suggested it will be fair game again if Hillary Clinton runs for president in 2016. The Democrats, one of their big issues is they have concocted and says Republicans are committing a war on women. One of the workplace laws and rules that I think are good is that uh, bosses shouldn't prey on young interns in their office. And I think really the media seems to be, have given President Clinton a pass on this. He took advantage of a girl that was 20 years old and an intern in his office. There is no excuse for that. Mark Thiessen is a columnist for the Washington Post and a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute. Mark, should Bill's actions be relevant if Hillary runs for president? Yeah, well, first of all, I think uh, Rand Paul just made Hillary's enemies list. <laughs> you know, uh -oh. uh, the, uh, <laughs> we remember we learned a few weeks ago. First of all, he didn't say anything that was outrageous or out of the ordinary. I mean, uh, the, just a few weeks ago, we learned that Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill made Hillary's enemies list because she publicly stated that Bill Clinton was a fine president, but I wouldn't want my daughter around him. Right. And that put her on the enemies list. So I think Senator Paul didn't say anything that Democrats haven't said about uh, about Bill Clinton in the well, past. Well, I mean, his, his point about... A boss shouldn't take advantage of an intern yeah. in the office. That's 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 okay. It's the suggestion that yeah. this would be relevant if Hillary runs. But I don't think I don't think he's saying that exactly. I think what he's saying is that, for example, it's going to be very hard for Hillary to run on the war against, the Republican war against women uh, with this with this uh, with this uh, in, in her background. Um, well, so not I, in I, her I, background though. It's it's yeah. it's in his background. Though that's exactly right. No, but, but look, she's not going to get defined by his actions, and she shouldn't be. Look, nobody votes for the first spouse. They vote for the president. So she's going she's gonna to be running on her own record, and that's quite frankly what she ought to be worried about. She ought to be worried, a, a lot more worried about Benghazi than she is worried about Bubba. She needs to be a but lot more worried. But is this relevant worried. at all? I mean, do you think that, this, that the Lewinsky affair and, you know, Bill Clinton's lying about it, will come back to haunt her in any way if she decides to run? I don't think it'll haunt her. What I think it, make, it makes it a point of hypocrisy for Democrats who turned a blind eye to what Bill Clinton did, but then, but then accuse Republicans of waging a war on women. I think that's, that's the, the limit of what its effect is. I don't think that anybody's going to choose whether or not they want Hillary Clinton for president based on what Bill Clinton did mm -hmm. or didn't do in the, in the White House. You know, they're, okay, they're gonna... let me just expand it in fairness to yeah. the, the, the president, or Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton's critics. Because mm -hmm. it wasn't just Monica Lewinsky. I mean, that was a, yeah. from what we understand, a consensual relationship. And, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it was obviously problematic for many reasons, but it was consensual. But he was accused uh, by Paula Jones, by Juanita Broderick, of non-consensual sexual behavior. He denied it. Uh, but in the Paula Jones case, they settled out of court. He said he did it for, for nuisance reasons and so on. All that, yeah. you know, is that going to get dredged back up, Mark? Or do you think, as some have suggested, if they do, if they do that, to talk about war on women and how certain you know, men act, mm -hmm. it's going to backfire on the critics because Bill Clinton now has a 71% approval rating. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think, I hope we do, that it all, doesn't all get dredged back up because, quite frankly, I don't want to relive it all. I mean, the, the 1990s, the whole wars of the 1990s were terrible. Um, but if we were going to go back to the 1990s, what we ought to be focusing on as conservatives is Hillary Care, which is the real precursor to Obamacare. The, I mean, she's got her own swirl of scandals around her and controversies that we really don't need to be focusing on on Bill Clinton scandals. There's mm -hmm. plenty of, there's, she's a target-rich environment. We don't need to go focusing on Bill Clinton. You want to look for the war on women in the 1990s. Let's talk about high-waisted mom jeans, okay? <laughs> <laughs> they were not right. <laughs> right thanks, there was a Mark. lot that was not right about the 1990s. <laughs> <Not right. laughs> like huge triangle earrings. Okay, oh, see you soon. Thanks, Megan. <laughs>